one box for each letter in the word. You can move up and down, you can move left and right, but you cannot move diagonally anywhere you like. Now, I know you're confused. It's got to be tried and experienced. Let's say you start on the box marked school. I don't know why you'd start on school, but there you go. There are six letters in the word school, so we're going to count six spaces. S-C-H-O-O-L. And you landed on homework. Now you notice I started counting on a box next to school, not on school itself. Very important. Or you could move like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and you land on burger. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, and you land back on school. You can do it anywhere you like, but make sure you count the exact number of letters in whatever box you start on, and no diagonal lines. So that's enough of an explanation. Let's get on with the game. Choose one of the nine items. Point your finger at it. Now, spell out the name in the box, moving your finger one the box for every letter. Go. All right, I'm getting a mental picture. I see that you did not land on the box marked pizza, did you? <laughs> no, of course you didn't. Then we'll just take it away. Now, you cannot move onto that one again. Now, wherever you are on the board, I want you to count four spaces. Move in whatever order you like. Four spaces. Count now. Wait, wait, I feel a rush. I'm going to eliminate two boxes. I'm going to take away your music, so I might as well take away dancing too. <laughs> That's what you'll get for not landing on them. Next, wherever you are now, you're going to move three spaces on whatever boxes are left. Move three times. Well, I feel so bad about taking away your music and your dancing. I'm going to eliminate school. I thought you'd like that. Now, move two spaces. Well, if you don't have school, you don't need homework. So your homework is vaporized. Now, I want you to move three spaces. And we'll take away, I see it now, the candy box. And finally, move one space. Yes, we take away the TV box, we take away the burger box, and just as I predicted, you've landed on something very, very special. America's favorite, Kool-Aid brand soft drink. I know you're all out there saying to yourselves, that's no entertainment miracle, just a coincidence. What a fake, you're a sham. Well, the best way I can prove it to you is to ask you to Rewind the tape back a bit and start somewhere else. Pizza, burger, dancing. You can begin just about anywhere. I know just where you'll end up. Amazing! Well, I have to go now. I'd love to stay, but I haven't paid my electric bill. Going mental! <laughs> Meanwhile, on a seemingly peaceful street, not that far from you.
symphony. I'm hip on a hip tip. Check out my flop flip. Let's take a hype trip. Hipping and hopping nonstop. I ain't stopping. Slamming through the ceiling. This is fun that I'm popping. Stuff with a bluff till you can't get enough. What is your stupid? It's fat the way I loop it. Let the beat I wrote float like a boat on water. Got the wacky wild lyrics and you just order. Because you need them to be hip as you can. I'm the K-O-O-L-A-I-D, man. Somebody say, s -s somebody say, oh yeah! Kool Aid Man on the way. <laughs> say, twiddly twiddly, twiddly twiddly. Uh, Kool Aid Man gonna make you smile. Kabiddly diddly. Be fine. And now, a fairy tale. Once upon a time, there was a mischievous little monkey named Wilmer. Wilmer loved to play monkey tricks on unsuspecting grown-ups. One day, Wilmer was at the local airport and decided to play a monkey trick on Pilot Bob. Oh, that Wilmer. What kind of monkey shines is he up to now? You see, what Pilot Bob didn't know is that Wilmer had a basic and fundamental understanding of the mechanics and aerodynamics of modern aircraft. And for all his comical hijinks, Wilmer knew he wasn't doing anything that would put Pilot Bob in danger. What Wilmer hadn't counted on, however, was Pilot Bob's terrible temper. Meanwhile, at that very moment, little Doreen was lying to her parents. When they didn't believe her, she said, If I'm lying, may an airplane fall on my head. So remember, boys and girls, always tell the truth. Because you never know when there's a lunatic monkey in a runaway airplane right above your head. In our last episode... And now... Couch potatoes? Yeah! Well, it's time for the one minute wacky wild workout. Oh, yeah. With your host, the eminent wackier seismologist, the hunk with bulk, the hunk with spoke, and one tenth of a nice guy, the Kool-Aid Man! Oh yeah! Oh, stand up! Put your hands in the air, jump up and down, sit in the chair, put your elbow on your knee and your head on your hand, make a funny face, then again stand, twirl around like a spinning top, keep on twirling, now stop, rub your head cause you're still feeling dizzy, take a deep breath, now we're gonna get busy, do jumping jacks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, now sit on the floor, take a deep breath, now back up on your feet, do the Kool-Aid man wiggle to the wacky wild beat, pack a top of your head and rub your belly. Now shake your body like a tub of jelly. Take out your thumb and touch your nose. Wiggle up your fingers then stand on your toes. Count 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. 3, 2, 1, now sit on the floor. But don't you get comfy, stand back up. Take a deep breath. Huh. 